Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Marvelous Designer. This is going to be the start of a small series that I wanted to do for everyone that is not really familiar with Marvelous Designer, so you can get your Chaos Cloth into Unreal Engine with a new method in Unreal 5.4. Now, if you don't already have the free license, I believe there's still time to get it. I have a video on my channel on how to apply for the free one-year license, link in the description down below. Make sure if you haven't, go there quickly because there is a deadline to get that free license and it's for one year. Now let's get started. Once you have the license, all you have to do is go to the website, download it just like any other software out there and uh, you install it with your license and you should be into somewhere around like this. One of the main things that we're going to use for this Chaos Cloth tutorials is going to be MetaHumans. You can actually use whatever character you want, just have to bring it in. I just find that MetaHuman is a good starting point. Now. When you are here, you'll be greeted with this library and you have all your garments uh, over here. There is this tab that's called avatars. If you just download the software, usually there shouldn't be nothing in here. If you don't see these folders, you'll per that means that you're going to have to download it. So just click the download button. It's going to ask you if you want to download them and it'll get you this. The beauty is that we now have metahumans here. It's like somebody told me in a video before that there were metahumans in Marvelous Designer. So all you have to do is double click and you have all ranges of weight and sizes. That being said, we do have a MetaHuman that is customized. I'm going to make a video on how to use that MetaHuman later on. But for now, let's just do something that everybody can use. Let's start with a male um, normal weight tall, which is kind of like the standard for most uh, clothing around in MetaHumans. You can see it has a MetaHuman geometry. Uh, oh, very important before I forget how to navigate this software. If you don't usually use 3D software, so you use the right click to rotate your view. You use the middle mouse button to pan around, zoom and uh, zoom in, zoom out. That is pretty much it. Other than that, uh, if you click your middle mouse button, you can just pan around here in this view. This is a 3D view. This is a 2D view. Kind of obvious. 2D view is kind of like a UV layout uh, view, if you will. And this is where you usually construct your garment. One of the things I like about Marvelous Designer is whatever shape you have here, usually it will you will have it here. So if you want to like construct the garment with construction lines over here pretty quickly, it's very easy to do. Now let's get back into the garments. Again, we're not going to start a garment from scratch. We're just going to grab something from here that we can use. Uh, before that, one of the things that I saw on the uh, documentation for Epic was that you should smooth the avatar. That may be uh, one of the collision requirements. So all you have to do is click uh, left click on the avatar and over here in this, uh, this is the property editor. You're going to see that over here you see smooth avatar. All you have to do is check and the avatar mesh cannot be divided. So when I was using a metahuman that I brought out of Quixel Bridge, it actually subdivided and didn't give me this error. So if somebody in the comments down below know why this is, because in the Unreal documentation, I do recommend that you subdivide. Uh, let me know, because I, I find that very interesting. All right, so now that we've done that, all we have to do is drag this shirt and just throw it on our MetaHuman. And there you go. Uh, pretty quickly, you're going to see the 2D view and you're going to see your MetaHuman over here. And all we're going to do is kind of like adjust this to our character. So let's make sure you select your whole thing. So click and drag, click uh, whatever on your clothing and try to reposition it somewhere that kind of looks like it's on your character. Uh, this this isn't, of course, like the best fit for this character right now. So I'm just trying to roughly place it in, in somewhere where it simulates and it doesn't fall because one of the things about uh, Marvelous Designer is that you simulate clothing. So when you simulate clothing, it collides with your character. And if it's outside of your character, it's just going to fall down. So let's press simulate here. I usually just do it by pressing spacebar. So as you can see, that simulated on our character and it it actually fits. I think it fits all right, except for some points where if you see some points like that, where it was kind of like clipping through the character, all you have to do is like pull it out and you have an instant shirt. Pretty easy, right? One of the things that I like about the fact that you have clothes already in here is that you can just tailor whatever you have to your metahuman. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click here. So you have transform pattern, which will allow you to select the whole thing and move it. Then you have this edit pattern. I'm just going to click here 
It has different settings like edit curves and all that, which we'll see in a second how to use. But for now, just go to the basic edit pattern and that will allow you to kind of grab lines from here and you'll be able to like move it around. The reason why I'm doing that is so I can extend it. One of the best things about this uh, garment that's already here is that the parts are mirrored. So if you pull one out, the other one will come out as well, um, unless you want something, you know, very specific. Now, this is not looking great over here, but we can fix that. I'm going to like pull this out and like rotate it. So when it simulates, it collides appropriately. If it doesn't collide appropriately, we can fix it after the fact. And we got to do it to this side as well. Like this. There you go. Okay, let's do that. And again, I'm not a master of marvelous designer. I just know the basics. And let's see. Now it's out of the elbow, which I didn't want. Okay, I'm going to leave this in just so you guys can see uh, that it can be a little bit tricky. But again, you can always fix it after the fact. So you'll see in a second. Let's do the same for this side. And yeah, there, this can be as simple as you want or very complex. So let's just simulate and see what happens. There you go. So we simulated and this thing is clipping. You can actually drag the clothing like I could drag it from here and kind of like force it in like that there you go so as you can see it was clipping but now it, it is no longer clipping so you can fix it after the fact so just grab it from the side where it's colliding and then you can just get your metahuman to where it is now there you go we've modified it a shirt to kind of be a long sleeve shirt with this metahuman and we are going to be using that later in chaos clothing. So again, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So if you had a, let's say a female metahuman or an overweight or underweight, you can adjust things on the fly, kind of like adjust the lines if you want to. Another thing that you can do is kind of like create collars and what's this called? Uh, cuffs. So let's, let's try, I, I believe they're called cuffs, like the, the extra things that you get on your sleeves here. Um, if that's not the correct word, just let me know. But all I'm going to do is click on these two. And easy way to do that is just right click on the line. By the way, the way I'm selecting both of them is just click on one, hold shift and click on the other. And right click. And you can see that there is this option called offset as internal line. You can do that and you can give it a specific centimeter. I'm going to give it, what did I give it last time? I think thir no, 30 is too much. Uh, I think last time I did three centimeters. Yeah, three centimeters or let's let's just do five. Five centimeters should be fine. There you go. So we have five centimeters and uh, then we go here and you can see there's another option called cut and sew. So we cut and sew and now we got our little cuffs right here, which we can modify. By the way, we could uh, select this point and kind of make it a little bit more narrow. And let's simulate. You can see how it looks horrible. Probably that wasn't the best way to do it. <laughs> let's undo that. So let me bring in the point instead of bringing the whole line. See what happens. All right, that, that's much better. Not fantastic. But uh, let me just undo all that. One of the things you should do is, um, yeah, the, these things need better fitment. So I'm just going to bring them over and try to get them as close as possible like that. Okay. So we have better sleeves now. Now we can do the right click offset as internal line. Let's do four, maybe five. It's too much. Let's do four centimeters. Uh, click on the line, right click, cut and sew. And there you go. We've got some nice cuffs and we can just maybe reduce the size a little bit. Not super. And there it is. Okay. 
that's it's not it doesn't look horrible and you can do the same thing uh with other parts like over here you select one line from the back one, one line from the front one line from the back uh right click offset same and as you can see because these are mirrored you can see it all across the clothing right click cut and sew and that is it you can simulate it if you want and we got some nice clothing for our metahuman to get you started uh, again i just wanted to release a quick video so you guys can see how easy this is you can do it for pants you can try the hoodie in the next videos we are going to be looking on how to get this outfit out of here and into unreal engine to get it working with the clay house cloth thank you a lot for watching remember patrons are always on screen if you want to be part of the patreon it's link in the description if not leaving a like and leaving a comment helps a lot to get the channel out there there's the twitter there's the discord if you have any questions and i'll see you in the next one